For me, this is one of Africa's truly dramatic scenes, just because it shows a crucial link in Africa's historical development. Even now, on certain days, you can walk out from Timbuktu and glimpse the inner drama of trans-Saharan trade. On this day, these Tuareg Berbers who operate the camel caravans are bringing a load of salt southwards from the surface mines at Taudeni, 500 miles to the north, a journey of 21 days each way. And on their journey northward in the heyday of the old prosperity, they also carried gold. The arrival of the caravan will be greeted with music and dancing. Against the background of their harsh environment, the Tuareg travelers of the desert have created a musical culture full of elegance. The caravan's arrival is an occasion for these Tuareg people to celebrate their skill in mastering the relentless trails of the Sahara. And there's joy and relief at having reached another journey's end. Here I'm some way out beyond the edge of the southern shore of this vast ocean of sand, the Sahara Desert. And these are the people of the desert, the Tuareg, a hard people who live in a hard land, not a bit romantic in spite of appearances.
today's descendants of the Berber nomads, all of who in ancient times mastered the secrets of human survival in the desert and made themselves at home here. Immensely self-reliant, persevering, they became the lords of the long-distance caravan trade long before the camel was known in these regions, and that was 2,000 years ago. I like to think of the crucial part played by these voyagers, always facing the perils of the desert, traveling through weeks and months, navigating by guess or by intuition, or else navigating by the stars. Sixty days of riding and walking were needed to cross the Sahara, a daily average of about 25 miles between the ports of the opposing shores. Several main routes led from oasis to oasis. Some went through the western Sahara, others crossed further east, but the eventual destination was Cairo. Almost a generation ago, this film was made of a typical caravan as it came out of the desert through the Atlas Mountains to arrive at Marrakesh, famous among the ports or cities on the northern fringe of the Sahara. In these Berber towns throughout the Middle Ages, the gold of West Africa set the monetary standard for long-distance commerce and provided the substance of their riches. 